All right, and we're back. This is Matt from BDG. This is part two of my Mega Man X playthrough. Just finished up Chill Penguin in the last video, and we're going to move on to, uh, well, kind of something a little out of order. Most people would take Chill Penguin on to Spark Mandrel, as uh, Chill Penguin's weapon is Spark Mandrel's weakness. But I was watching another uh, Let's Play a while back, and I saw... I saw somebody try a little bit of a different order, and I'm going to give it a shot. I've never done this before, but we'll see how it works. The main reason for uh, going to Sting Chameleon now is that, um, as I said in the first video with the, the different armor upgrades, Sting Chameleon's stage has the, the uh, body armor upgrade. And so theoretically, getting that right now... And uh, d taking half damage from all the rest of the enemies in the game should, you know, theoretically make the whole game easier. If you uh, stick closer to the order of just using the weaknesses, you wouldn't get to this stage till a lot later in. So uh, coming here second, just after you get the dash, that's all you need to get up here. Got a, kind of a mini boss we got to fight here kind of annoying there's no health bar takes a lot of damage to take him out you gotta hit him in the head he pretty much just jumps back and forth um, occasionally I'll try to make him do it here he'll throw out his arm like that and also if you get him to do that where you're close enough to a wall that his arm hits the wall he can um, he can pull himself into a wall well, and do that. I dashed the wrong way. So, I don't know. Maybe I can get him to do that. Probably not. Whenever I want to, I can't get him to do it. <laughs> Probably should just fast forward through this part of the video. No, I don't know. Once he starts having smoke coming out of him, he's he's almost almost dead. And there we go. And here's our armor upgrade. Sounds good to me. Nice stylish new look there. Uh, one of the things with most of the Mega Man games, most of the, uh, the, sorry, the X games with, that have the different upgrades and stuff, um, you end up having to do some backtracking because there really is no perfect order, and you have to uh, you have to obtain different weapons and come back to older stages to then have access to some of the upgrades you had to pass up. There's an upgrade I passed in this stage. I have to come back here after I beat uh, the water stage a little later. In this particular game, there's um, a couple different stages can change after you beat another specific stage like uh, after you beat launch octopus on the water stage this level that I'm on right now uh, gets kind of flooded and in a later video when I get it you'll see how that flooding um, helps me get the power up that I had to pass earlier in this stage and there's a there's a couple other stages that function like that as well but um, one of the other things that's really interesting about playing this stage second to get the armor upgrade is that um, I, if I remember correctly, there's a lot less backtracking in this order I'm going to be doing for this video than uh, in the order that I would normally take. I usually will just play through the stages starting with Chill Penguin and do all of the um, take that weapon to the robot that's weak against it and just go through all eight. And then I'd end up having to do a lot of backtracking. So this should, uh, this should shorten things up a little bit. Alright, this guy here, he's got a couple different attacks, and they all 
drive me nuts. So you'll see he can kind of cloak himself here. Those are his three basic attacks, and he just did them all right in a row. He'll uh, get close to you and try to hit you with his tongue. He can shake uh, spikes out of the ceiling. Um, if you didn't notice up there, those are spikes that'll damage you if you do happen to hit your head there. And then he's got that um, that three spike tail attack, I guess. Don't usually take on this guy without using his um, his weakness, but uh, so far the fight's looking okay. I should be fine here. I shouldn't have said anything now. Luckily, most of those things only do one or two damage because of my uh, new armor upgrade. Just about here, we should be able to get this. Two more charged. There we go. For the most part, from here, now I'll continue on with the uh, the weakness pattern with this guy's weapon, and um, yeah, it just uh, it helps you uh, cut down on on the backtracking necessary later on, and the armor is is always nice to have. So we'll head over to uh, Storm Eagle now, the air stage. Get, uh, get our first heart upgrade, our first uh, health bar upgrade here, right in the beginning of the stage. Just keep riding up on these platforms. And you're just going to dash jump off to the side here. And you'll land on this building back where you started. You'll see, it didn't look like much, but after seven more, it gets a lot better. I, like, maybe it's just me, but on these platforms here, getting from that second, from that first set to the second set, I always have a hard time. I die. Like, I wouldn't say more often than not, but I die quite a bit. It's just one of the sections I have trouble with, I guess. Here you take out the uh, gun that's up here, and then you ride this up. Take this guy out here first. We'll pick up our first energy tank. These are uh, a little different than Mega Man in that, um, unlike being a single-use item, you uh, can obtain up to four energy tanks in the game, and they, when you have full health and you pick up energy, it fills up your energy tanks instead, and uh, they can be just held on to until you need to use them. When you use it, it empties out, and you can fill it all up, fill them up completely again. So it's uh, it's it's a new idea. It's kind of nice. You don't have to wait for the, the rare opportunity to grab an energy tank like you would have in the Nintendo Mega Man games. You can just sit and grind on some enemies a little bit for some uh, for some power-ups and get your energy tanks filled up again. Yeah, I don't really usually go down here, but I'll go down here just to show you. You shoot out these fuel tanks or whatever they are. You go through here, and there's a uh, one-up. It'll be useful later on. There's um, a secret hidden that I can get after uh, after I beat the eight robot masters, and it's a little a little bit of an Easter egg from another one of Capcom's games put in this game, and we'll get to that a little later. But it requires that I have um, 
I'll, uh, I, I have as many, uh, lives as you can get. Got the, uh, helmet upgrade here. Um, again, if I remember correctly, this one, yeah, just, it just requires the leg upgrade, so you just need to build a dash to come in and get this one. This helmet upgrade's not really all that cool. In X2 and X3, the uh, helmet upgrade had a lot more use. In this game, it just lets you bust blocks, sp um, special blocks only with uh, your head by jumping into them. And its only real use is for obtaining um, obtaining other upgrades from other stages that are uh, hidden behind blocks that you need to get with the helmet. All right, we're almost to the boss here. These platforms will drop out, so you gotta be pretty quick on them. And uh, we're on Storm Eagle's airship here. If you're really crazy, you could probably kill yourself here, so don't jump like a retard. Just uh, just go down on the arm here. I'm not quite sure why he uh, blows up the top of his ship to fight you, but whatever. Storm Eagle's really, really easy. I would say maybe even easier than uh, Chill Penguin. He only does two things to damage you, and the rest of his moves are just trying to push you off the edge of the ship. This right here is damaging, obviously, if he hits you, so you just keep moving. Dash helps, and you can just get away from him. And uh, if you remember, maybe I'll do it again here. Yep, he's going to spit out his egg thing there, and birds come out of it. And he flaps his wings like that to push you, and that tornado also doesn't hurt you. It just tries to push you off the edge. If you're really quick, you can you can hit him when he's doing this here. Real easy pattern. Sometimes he keeps going forever, it seems, with his, uh, his flying through the air, but... It's easy to tell what he's going to be doing, so... Oops. There we go. Fortunately, your version of that tornado attack does damage stuff. Be kind of a shame if it didn't. All right, I think I'm not going to worry too much about time here. I'm just going to get three bosses in on one video, another three probably in the next. So let's see, Storm Eagle, we'll go on to Flame Mammoth. This guy's stage is another one of the stages that gets affected by beating a stage previous to it. Uh, Flame Mammoth's stage changes when you defeat Chill Penguin. Um, being a flame boss, fire boss, the stage would have uh, lava in it, but after beating Chill Penguin, you'll see the floor I'm on here is um, grayed out and it's not flowing like the lava would be. That makes it uh, safe to travel on. The lava functions just like spikes would, so if you touch it, you die immediately. All right, uh, this stage is nice because all three of its power-ups, it's got uh, one of each in here. They're all nearby. This first one here is probably the hardest one to get in the game. And it's one that I never knew about, even playing this game as a kid. I, I never could find it. It's really tricky to do. You gotta get up here and get these blocks. You kinda can break them a little bit on the sides. See, if I had fallen now, I wouldn't have been able to get it. I'd have to come back into the stage again, because you can't, uh, there's nothing to grab onto once that first block is destroyed. And it can be really tricky to uh, catch it as well. It's a pretty far jump. You gotta get your timing just right. Um, I won't ruin the story if you haven't played this game before. This this arm cannon upgrade is something that you'll, you'd get automatically uh, much later in the game during the uh, final stages if you don't get it here. Which is one of the reasons why I never uh, I never realized I was missing anything as a kid because you got an arm upgrade later on in the game, but it's 
has to do with the story, and we'll get to that when we get there. So we go all the way down here. You probably can uh, assume that you'd need to beat Chill Penguin in order to get that heart, because otherwise it would be flame down there for being lava and you'd die. So you'd have to do some backtracking there if you didn't take out the ice stage first. Kind of a pain jumping around here because these things just keep hitting you over and over again. And then uh, here's third power up of three out of this stage. Again, this is you're not really using your head, but if you jump just right, you can kind of break those those blocks from the side. Climb yourself back up again and continue on. Quicker to go underneath here. All right, and we're almost there. See how useful this uh, upgraded buster will do against these bosses here. Uh, you'll notice Flame Mammoth's boss room is a little different. It's got a conveyor belt and it's a wide room. And uh, that's because he does a lot of moving around. He's got that oil attack there. He'll try to cover you with oil. And then uh, you probably could guess if he tries to hit you with fire, it does even extra damage. Because you're all covered in oil. You can also uh, change the direction of the conveyor there. If he hits the... There we go. Yeah, if he, he hits the ground and you're still touching the ground, it, uh, no, it paralyzes you for a short period of time. Thankfully, it uh, doesn't matter if he hits the ground and you're on the wall. Just about got him here. And there we go. I guess I'm kind of, um, I'm playing through and I'm beating all these bosses just with the regular arm cannon. But um, another interesting thing, just like how there's the stages that get modified after you beat a specific boss, um, some of the bosses in the game here actually can change a little bit if you hit them with a certain attack. If you hit Flame Mammoth with this guy, Boomer Quanger, which I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that name right. I think it's pretty stupid. <laughs> if you hit uh, Flame Mammoth with his weapon, it cuts off Flame Mammoth's um, trunk, I guess, and then it uh, prevents him from being able to change the level of the, of the uh, conveyor belts. Um, this guy, Armored Armadillo, you hit him with uh, Spark Mandrel's electric attack, it destroys Armadillo's uh, shields. But anyways, maybe uh, later in the game I can show you that. and to fight the bosses over again. Uh, Flame Mammoth's weapon would be used on Chill Penguin. We already did that, so... Where to next? You know, I think we'll just go here. I lied, we're not going to keep going with the order now, I'm just going to jump around a little bit. Don't need to worry about the order too much because I'm just I'm not using uh, anyone's weakness, so it doesn't matter too much. Just depends on when I want to pick up the different power ups. This guy's stage is pretty much just a huge tower. It's almost all vertical. I've never been a fan of this guy's stage. I really dislike it. Having that upgraded arm buster here really helps. 
Usually I always get hit a couple times from the things this these monsters shoot out, but robots, I guess, not monsters. That third stage arm cannon really takes them out quick. Alright, more vertical. My favorite. Probably a good idea to avoid the spikes here. Slows down there and give you a chance to get through. And, uh... I guess I shouldn't complain so much. I say that I dislike this stage, but we're already almost to the end boss. It's actually a pretty quick stage if you know what you're doing. And, um, this guy's only got one power up on his stage. He's got a heart tank. Everyone's got one of those on their stage. And there's something really cool about this heart tank. For years, I've only ever known to be able to get it with this boss's weapon, so you have to backtrack. And this is this is literally right before the boss chamber. So I, I hated having to do this, because I'd always have to come back, and I hated this stage. But, um... I've never heard anybody mention this on any forums. I've never seen it in any other playthroughs. But I figured this out just uh, a few weeks ago. I was playing through this game a little bit to reacquaint myself with it to do this uh, playthrough. Oh, I missed it there. And I thought, there's got to be another way to get this. I don't want to have to backtrack. And I figured something out. I can jump on this thing here. If I would quit screwing it up, you can get this jump just right. Um off of your charged up Ah, oh, I touched it too um, and I guess I never realized this before because with the order that I played I never had the um, or maybe I did have the charge the uh, arm upgrade but anyways I thought that was so cool even if other people already knew that you could do that I figured it out I didn't use the internet I feel proud of myself I taught, my some, taught myself something new from a game I've been playing for more than 10 years. Anyways, this last section is probably the section I hate the most. There's too many of these damn things. Alright, here we are. I have no idea how long this video is. Probably over 10 for sure. But uh, finish this boss up and we'll cut the video there. This guy is a pain without using his weapon. He uh, can kind of just morph wherever he wants. Or phase in and out, I guess. Makes it hard to hit him. If you keep up the pressure on him, he'll rarely even use... He'll rarely even throw that weapon. He'll just spend all of his time shifting back and forth. Which actually kind of sucks, because if he's throwing his weapon, you got a clear shot at him. And you'll see also when he's just moving around on the ground, he always wants to get close enough just to, to grab you and hit you. So it can be really hard for a player that um, doesn't understand the strategy or the pattern of this boss. It's very hard to stay safe. A lot of bosses have a pattern that just involves them having a kind of a preset motion. And you can just plan around that. This guy doesn't let you do that. All right, um, I think we'll cut it there and, and then uh, come back in next video and we'll probably get another three bosses in. Video after that, we'll take out the last of the eight bosses, do some backtracking, and then um, maybe another video or two for the last stages of the game. Thanks for watching.